Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alec Garza. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I want to talk about why I loved WandaVision. Don't forget to smash that like button. It definitely helps out this video and my channel. And please consider subscribing. So for those who don't know, WandaVision is a show that just came out on Disney Plus not too long ago. And it is a one season show. All you gotta do is watch the nine episodes. And each episode is about 30 minutes long to 45 minutes. Some of them are shorter than that. So it's really easy to get through. And I highly recommend you actually watch it before watching this video. As I will be getting into spoilers. But before you go, if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. It picks up right after the end of Endgame. And it is all about Wanda Maximoff and her dealing with the loss of Vision. As we know in Infinity War, Thanos ripped the Soul Stone out of Vision's head which resulted in his death. And in Endgame, when Hulk did his snap and brought everybody back, it did not bring back Vision because he was not part of the original snap that took the people. He died separately from that, so he is still dead. WandaVision picks up right after, and from the trailer, you're just like, what's going on? And I was on the same boat, but I gave it a shot, and I'm so glad I did because WandaVision turned out to be a really awesome surprise hit. I loved every second of it, and I'm so glad Marvel took a risk with this show and made it happen. So check it out, and then come back to this video, and we'll talk more. And the first few episodes might throw you off a little bit, but hey, stay with it. I promise you it will reward you. It is totally worth it. I know newcomers were kind of turned off by the first episode, but trust me, watch it with a loved one, whether it's your, you know, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, your parents. Watch it with somebody because there's a lot of heart in it, and I think it's more enjoyable when you're watching with somebody you love because love is a big part of the show. So go check it out. But now for everybody who's already seen WandaVision, let's talk about why I loved it. All right. But before I get into why I loved it, I want to just talk about the bad, get it out of the way, nip it right in the butt. And then we can get to the good and start celebrating with the show. There's really not that much to say bad about this show. The only things I did not really care for was the Pietro fake out. The Quicksilver fake out was just really on the nose. And then it turns out to be like nothing. He's just an actor who just lived next door. It's just, you know, it's a funny twist. I enjoyed the humor of it because I didn't really get too caught up into it. I remember when they revealed him and they showed the white hair from the back at first, I thought it was going to be Magneto. That would have been the best thing ever. I would have lost my shit if they had Magneto in this uh, show, because everyone knows in the comics, Wanda is the daughter of Magneto, but the MCU haven't really taken that route yet or explored it, so I'm curious if they ever will. But to have Quicksilver showed up was still really interesting and fun in that episode, at the end of that episode, and then to see him in his costume the next episodes and interacting and doing his thing was really fun, but for it to just be a fake out was like, all right, like it was a little, too on the nose, too tongue in cheek. It was like Marvel saying, I know the fans have all these conspiracy theories and they like, you know, they like this, but we're gonna throw this right in front of them and then just like screw them over out of it, which was fine. Like I'm okay with it, but I'm just saying there was something I had a nitpick, probably that, just because I could see how it could piss off a lot of viewers. My last pet peeve was just how short some of the episodes were, and that's really not a problem you know it's just a pet peeve i just i love the show so dang much i wanted to see more you know they went by so quick ah but that's it that's all i can say really bad about wandavision you know per se personally i really enjoyed it now let's get to the good stuff okay one of the main reasons why i love this show so much was because of the character work and the story and the fact that the main villain isn't some devil named mephisto and isn't really a person, but it's grief and how we deal with it. And the whole show revolves around Wanda just being alone and sad. She lost her family. She lost her parents when she was a kid. She loses her brother later on. And then she loses the love of her life. And it's so real to see it in this show, how they depict it, how they depict her loneliness. And it's crazy to me because she's a superhero and part of a superhero team. So you think being part of a superhero team, she would have friends, but she doesn't. She really has nobody that she, cause she lost everyone. And it's so sad to see her when she goes into the new vacant lot where Vision had the house that she was gonna buy, they were gonna grow old together in. Bro, that tug on my heartstrings. 
And it's so crazy because it starts there and then everything happens and at the end she's back there. And it just was the saddest thing to see and I just, I want Wanda to find happiness. It really reminds me of like Peter Parker, how Peter Parker loses so many people he loves and has like a really bad life as a superhero. But the first few episodes were really funny. I enjoyed those. I thought they were really interesting and intriguing. They did a good job of keeping me wondering what's going on here, you know? Why is Vision back alive? Why is Wanda in this time period, you know? It did a really good job of creating suspense and building the plot up and I loved how each episode was, you know, callbacks to a bunch of old shows and sitcoms. It made me, you know, relive some of my childhood. I think this show could really stand the test of time because of those episodes of how it pays tribute to all that. And it will stand the test of time because it tells such a great cohesive story within one season, within these nine episodes. That's another reason why I love this show. I remember going into it, I wasn't that excited because I had no idea what they were gonna do. I'm like, Marvel, hmm, you're making a WandaVision show. The plot is kind of hard to understand from the trailer. What's going on? And as I gave it a shot and watched every single episode, every single weekend, I just fell more in love with it and was just so blown away how captivating this smaller story is after we get, you know, Endgame and Far From Home and all these big bombastic stories. We get this very contained and very intimate look at two characters that deserve a lot of shine and I'm glad they picked them to have this show. I wasn't that invested in Wanda or the Vision in the movies that they were in, but this show really fleshes them out and just adds so much depth to their characters. And I think the performances by everyone were amazing across the board. Elizabeth Olsen really got to shine here as well as Paul Bettany. It was just beautiful to see them on screen together. And then the kids, the child actors that Wanda has, the two kids were fantastic. I hope they stay around and by the last final end credit scene, it looks like they definitely will be making a return. So kudos to Marvel for that. I loved that Marvel was able to create a cohesive story that not only had great Easter eggs and set up future plots, but had its own great story to tell within it. You can watch the whole season and just enjoy that story and really just feel the emotional resonance at the end. Oh, when she says, thank you for choosing me to be your parent. Oh my gosh, I bawled, I cried, I cried, I cried. I don't know why I cried so much on that. It was just so deep. I almost cried when uh, the vision told her, what is grief if not love persevering? It's just so deep, man. And, and that's another aspect that I loved. I also loved how the white vision, the, the bad vision, the robot vision, is like the Terminator, one of those badass shots. That was such a badass shot with the fire in the background. He's walking, I just love that. It got into some Westworld artificial intelligence territory when uh, the vision tells the white vision, you know, about the ship of Theseus and how, is it really preserved? Is it really the original if they keep replacing it and fixing it up? How does it balance? And he convinces the white vision that he is vision and the white vision just flies away. I didn't know what was going on. And I remember when that happened, I had a theory, like maybe I'm like, wait, is the Vision just trying to convince this white Vision that he's Vision so he could destroy himself because that's what he was programmed to do? But I was like, nah, I think it's setting him up to be like the Vision later. So that could possibly happen. But another moment that I love that made me so freaking mm, was when the Vision says to Wanda, I've come back as this, you know, I've come back as this. And he says, who knows what I'll come back next as next and I was just like that's freaking that's everything man it's it's a very emotional show man and I'm glad that Marvel went with it and one critique that I've seen which is kind of dumb to me I've seen it on at least one reviewer is that they didn't like that the final episode has a big sky battle with the two witches and visions I just don't understand why that's a complaint I don't think these people understand. These are superhero movies and they're based off comic books. If you read a comic book, they usually end with a big fight or they have big fights within the comic book. So I don't understand that complaint. It's the dumbest complaint to me that someone complains, oh, there is a big fight battle scene at the end of a superhero movie. Um, what do you expect? These, what are these based off of, you know? I had no problems with that and I really thought Wanda was really smart how she was casting the runes around the hex. I really thought she was getting her she was getting her power sucked and then boom, plot twist. 
Great job by Wanda to learn. This also shows that her character is learning and learning and learning and picking up things to become even more powerful. And I loved how she was born a witch, which born almost a mutant, but they haven't said it, but it's pretty much guaranteed that yes, there are people who are born with powers. And one of my theories is that the mutants have existed and they're just hiding. They're in hiding because they don't want people to know. But now that these superheroes have come out, I think more mutants might flood out. But I don't know. We don't know. I have no idea how Marvel is going to do X-Men and introduce mutants. I don't envy the writers, whoever are coming up with it, because I think it's a very tall task. And I think who, however they do it, some viewers are not going to like it, no matter what. It's just how it is. You know, you can only make one creative decision. They're cutting out all the other potential things with that one decision. Some people are going to be butthurt about it. But I trust Marvel. I mean, they got us this far. They've given us some of the best superhero films of all time. So let's just keep them up. Another thing I loved was the costumes. Wow, wow, wow. Scarlet Witch's freaking costume is the shit. I love that transformation. Her crown, her the, the sleeves, like everything about it just looked great. The color, it looked fantastic. It looked like Elizabeth Olsen was comfortable in it, which I do think does benefit the actor and the character. Uh, in the show like if if i'm not comfortable in a suit i'm not gonna believe in it but because she looks very comfortable and it looks comfortable i think she she's able to embrace that character a lot more and they knocked it out of the park man talk about a glow up compared to her old costume this new costume is the bee's knees and overall i loved just the wilding tones you know some episodes were funny and some episodes were weird some episodes were scary some episodes were heartbreaking I think the show really offers a whole bunch of tones and a whole bunch of genres within it. It's really fun to watch. And another thing I loved about the show was seeing the vision all broken up into pieces, man. That was that was something I just thought was mind blowing to see on film because just a few years ago in Age of Ultron, you see him as one of the most powerful beings of all time. I would have never expected in a few years that we would see that same character spread across the table, broken up into pieces, discombobulated and dismembered. I thought it was a very powerful visual and scene as Wanda goes down and says, I can't feel you. It was just, it was just so much to that scene. I thought it was one of the darker scenes of the Marvel Universe and I thought it was very necessary to show that and it really hit. And I really liked the Agatha fake out, Agnes. I saw a lot of theories. I really couldn't tell that she was the villain. To be honest, I, I had feelings, but I was like, she seems like she's helping her too much. She seems like too much as a friend. Like, I don't think she's gonna be the big bad. And she turned out to be the big bad, which I was okay with because every superhero needs their counterpart. I'm glad they didn't bring in Mephisto or like a bigger villain because it would have been too convoluted. Let's just keep it with Agatha Harkness. You know, maybe we'll introduce Mephisto after later on. But for now, I believe she was a good equal to Scarlet Witch. And I thought it was a good contrast. And in the comic books, she's kind of middle of the road character. Sometimes she's helping Wanda and sometimes she's not. So down the road, we'll see what they do with that character. But I think she was a great foil in this series. Another thing I love about this show is you need to watch breakdowns every episode because in every episode there are easter eggs easter eggs easter eggs all throughout and i'm not the most patient person to go through and find them all and i'm not the most avid marvel fan and know everything about marvel to pick out everything but watch new rockstars videos or screen crushes videos they do an amazing job at breaking down each episode and finding those hidden Easter eggs that are really fun for Marvel fans and comic book fans to see. I definitely recommend checking out those videos because they do add a lot to the show overall. But the last thing I was talking about that I loved about WandaVision was the final end credit scene. It is brilliant. It is so brilliant because it is setting up the second Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange, into the multiverse of madness it's gonna be amazing and the reason why that scene is amazing is because it starts off from very far away and it kind of like comes in on a drone and it's in a beautiful like forest kind of park area with a mountain uh, it looks like a cat and, 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 and it, it starts off into a cabin and the cabin in the woods kind of vibe right and i remember seeing that i was like wait that's like a cabin in the woods kind of vibe huh and then the camera starts coming in, but it's coming in shaky. It's not coming in like as smooth as usual as Marvel films are, very smooth with the camera work. It's coming in a little like shaky and rough. 
And then I saw the cabin in the woods and I was thinking, hold on. Is this like a like like an Evil Dead reference? Because in Evil Dead, they go like this, and the, you know, it just felt weird. And then I looked up who's directing Doctor Strange too. Sam Raimi is, and Sam Raimi did Evil Dead, and he did Spider Man one, two, and three. And Spider Man two is one of the best superhero films of all time. So that was just brilliant in that, like even the shots, the way they shot it is setting up the sequel. Okay, and then to add on to that, you see Wanda. She's all alone. She's very sad. It, it is really sad to see her all alone. She's making tea or she's drinking coffee. I'm not sure what she's doing. I remember she has her hand on the kettle and it's burning hot, but she, you know, she's super, she's a witch. What, what does it matter? And the, it pans in after I pass her and it goes into this room and you see Scarlet Witch on full costume, freaking spazzing out, you know, like Dr. Strange is when he's doing his thing. And she's basically astro projecting and reading the dark hold, like learning everything about it. And she looks scary to me, and you hear her kids that she lost. You hear her kids say, help, mom, help us. And then her eyes, like, glow up, and it ends. And I'm like, what? So they're bringing the kids back? Yes. I thought that was awesome. It was a great setup for the next thing involving Wanda, and I can't wait to see more of her. I'm so happy with this show. I hope you are happy. That's really all I got for this video. I wanted to keep it a little short and sweet and just kind of break down why this show was so effective and why I loved it so much. Uh, so if you have seen it and you did love it or you hated it, let me know why in the comments below. You know, what do you want to see? Are you excited for Captain America and the Winter Soldier? Um, So that was my breakdown of why I love this show. I definitely think it was very effective at telling the story you wanted to tell and setting up a future installment. I think it is definitely worth a watch. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. If you have seen it, I hope you loved it. If you didn't love it, let me know in the comments below why you didn't love it. And if you did love it, let me know in the comments below why you loved it. Either way, I want to hear your opinions. I want to know what you think. And what you think about this video? Did you agree with some points? Did you like it? Do you think I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little emotional when I watch these things a little too much? But hey, I, I, I definitely will admit I am emotional, especially when I'm watching it with my girlfriend. We watched this whole show together and it was fantastic. We were just... We were just really relating well to the romance and the relationship between Vision and Wanda. And I think that really elevated the experience for me for sure. So that's why I recommend watching it with someone you love because love is at the centerpiece of this whole show. So what's next? Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now that I've seen WandaVision and I saw how great that was, I'm very excited for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which I wasn't before. So that's the next thing to watch. And then we got Loki, and I believe we have Doctor Strange. I might be missing something, but that is the roadmap I believe that we're on. I might mess up the order, but yeah. So let me know what you're most excited for from Marvel, what you wanna see, how are they gonna introduce the X-Men? I wanna hear your theories. How are they gonna introduce Fantastic Four? There's a lot coming Marvel's way, and I'm so happy about it, but Right now, WandaVision definitely set Marvel up to be in the right place at the right time. Great job on you, knocking out your first MCU series. I know Marvel has their own series on Netflix. That's like a darker kind of universe. I don't think that really is part of the MCU universe, just because tonally they don't really match up. But WandaVision being the first MCU series, from Kevin Feige was fantastic. Great job, Kevin Feige. Great job, Marvel. Great job to all the actors, everybody involved, and the costume designers and the writers. Just all of it, all of it. Kudos to y'all. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Remember to sound off in the comments below. I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna cut it here. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked One Vision and if you liked this video. I like to make videos talking about movies, television shows. Uh, video games and definitely like to do reaction videos to awesome trailers. Those are always fun But yeah, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. My name is Ali Garza Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Cheers